Hello, I'm Reza from Red Cat, and today I'm going to talk about remove duplicates in Power BI. Remove duplicates is a helpful uh, transformation in Power Query because it will give you a unique list of values. However, sometimes you apply remove duplicates, but you see that it's not giving you the unique list of values. Today I'm going to I'm going to show you how uh, this is possible, how this can happen, and how to avoid it. Is it a problem in remove duplicates, or this is something uh, to do with other transformations? Let's check it out. Uh, to show you how the remove duplicates works, here I have an example. It's a table of all countries. I'm putting the country name as the column header. It's a table of all uh, countries in my data set. And uh, this number of countries, they there are some duplicates records in it, as you can see. Um, New Zealand repeated twice, Australia repeated uh, multiple times and I might have more than uh, that. So let's say I want to remove duplicates from this. I can easily right click on this column and then say uh, remove duplicates or alternatively I can select the column, I can go to the transform tab, uh, uh, sorry, in the home tab and then remove rows, remove duplicates. Both are doing the same thing. So I'll select uh, remove duplicates and it will remove duplicates on this column. As you can see now there is no duplicate entries right that's how remove duplicates works very simple and very effective uh, what are scenarios that you can use this remove duplicates for for example let's look at another table let's say i don't want to load this table let's say i have these two tables to load a sales table that has information about each product the quantity of that and the sales amount and the product <coughs> and the product table uh, this product table has products information name and uh, the id so product name and product ID, and the other one is the product ID quantity and sales amount. And this is like my dimension table, this is my fact table. I want to load these into Power BI. When I say close and apply, when I load it into Power BI, it will load into Power BI um, as is, as the data loaded, uh, as the data is exist in those tables. But then when I want to create a relationship between these two based on product ID, I will get a message like this that says uh, this relationship has the cardinality of many-to-many -many relationship uh, because uh, we do not have unique list of product IDs in one of these tables. We expect the product um, table to have unique list, but as you can see, there are values that are not unique, right? Uh, I strongly suggest to avoid any many-to-many -many relationships because that will significantly Im impact your model. Uh, instead of that, I would suggest creating a proper model. In this case, this has to be one-to-many from product to the sales table. Uh, but we just need to make sure that there is no duplicate entries in the product table and the remove duplicates is a good way of ensuring that. So I'll go to edit queries. I'll go to product table and right click on this column i say remove duplicates right very simple uh, option so i say remove duplicates uh, you can see the remove duplicates step is already added and the script for remove duplicates is using table.distinct that is also added so duplicate is now removed i say close and apply when i come here and create relationship i still get the same error and when i look at that I see that I still have that duplicate entry. So I see a scenario that I have said remove duplicates and certainly I did because when I go to edit queries, I see that remove duplicates step here, but the duplicates is not removed. Uh, let's look at this and find out why. Uh, there are different reasons that uh, remove duplicate doesn't work. This is one of those reasons. Uh, you can see that these two values are slightly different. This is with lowercase a, this is with uppercase a. Power Query is a case sensitive language. In Power Query world, these two values are two different values. They are not considered as the same value. So as a result, you will not get uh, remove duplicates to consider these as one value and remove the other one, right? But when you load it into Power BI, Power BI itself or DAX, those are not case sensitive. So these two values will be considered as one value. 
So how to fix it? Um, one way to fix it, one easy way to fix it is to change all of these values to uppercase or change them all to lowercase and then do the remove duplicates. So I'll go one step back. In the previous step, before removing duplicates, I would say, uh, let's say, change all of these to uppercase. And the way that I can do it is right click on the column, transform, uppercase. I insert that as a step. Now you can see that these two are exactly the same. Then when I go to remove duplicates, those are converted to one, right? And I say close and apply. This time creating relationship. But again, I see the same issue. It says many to many relationships. I cannot connect these two tables. Um, so still, despite the fact that we did all of those uh, actions, we did uppercase, we did remove duplicates, there is still something going on. Let's have a look again. This 3, 2, 4, A, B, D exists actually twice. And the fact that it exists twice uh, after all of that uppercase transformation and remove duplicates we did looks a little bit strange. But the fact is that they might not be exactly the same. One of the other reasons that remove duplicates might not work is that the length of these two scripts, uh, let's say these two text strings, might be different. And that is a way to find out that are they exactly the same or not. Uh, how can I find out the length? I can click on this column, go to transform, uh, sorry, go to add column tab. Then from extract, I would say extract length. That will give me length of this column. You can see that these are mostly six, especially this line. But when it comes to this line, it is uh, seven. So these two, despite the fact that they are exactly the same, one of them is seven characters, the other one is six characters. How this is possible? It is possible with uh, some space at the beginning and end. Probably in this case, it is at the end of the script. There might be some other characters that you don't see as well, right? There are different ways that you can uh, handle this. You can right click on this. If it is a space, you can right click on it and trim it. But remember, this has to be done before uh, removing duplicates. So I'll go to uh, a step before removing duplicates. And I right click on this and I say transform trim. Insert that step. Now, when I go to remove duplicates, now it is gone and uh, in my text length section I will see all of these is six. I can uh, remove that text length uh, because that was just for me to test it how it works. Now I can see that these are all removed duplicates but text is not the only, uh, let's say uh, space is not the only scenario that might happen. You may see some other characters that you don't see but there are there. Uh, for those you can say transform clean clean will remove those characters. Sometimes you see also some characters that neither trim or clean will remove those. In those cases, you have to exactly find what that character is and then use options like replace values to replace those values with blank and then you will get a proper output. So right now in this scenario, this combination of four steps actually give me removing duplicates. I first change them all to one case, uppercase or lowercase, do the trim, do the clean, then remove duplicates. Now, in this case, I'm sure that these are removed duplicates. I'll close and apply. And now I can create relationship between those two and the relationship is one too many from the product table to the sales table, right? Uh, this is quite important to consider when you do remove duplicates. Otherwise, you'll use your remove duplicates, but you see that it is not working. Or you use remove duplicates. It is working in your current scenario, and uh, you get it working, you get your relationships done. In the next refresh, suddenly you get an error that there are duplicate entries in the product table. You wonder why, because you did already remove the duplicates. That is a scenario that you need to go and look at uh, these options, probably there was a, uh, a character that you haven't seen, a space, or uppercase, lowercase. It's always a good idea to consider doing a number of these steps at once, or you may even create a function 
combination of these and make sure that you always get the uh, unique list of values. As you have seen in this video, remove duplicates doesn't have any issues. It's just removing duplicate entries. However, in Power Query Word, uh, there's a difference between uppercase letter and a uh, lowercase letter. Also, sometimes there are characters that you won't see in a space at the end of the text or any other characters that you won't see. When you do remove duplicates, make sure that you take care of all of these types of transformations before removing duplicates.